Today, the crew and I are trekking over to the ancient and mystical Isle of Arran, notorious for its mysticism and otherworldly goings on. From local reports, this island seems to be teeming with unusual activity, the likes of which I've never seen before in 50 years of investigating. Our hope here is to uncover exactly what is causing this huge spike in paranormal activity, and whether the cause might be something more than just ghostly spectres. Brodick Castle has got a terrifying history of suicide and murder, and there's loads of reports of really awful paranormal activity. Wow, you know, from what I've heard, there's a theory that Arran has a lot of mythical creatures like goblins, imps, and fairies. Yeah, definitely. From a paranormal point of view, I find that really interesting because I've always loved elementals, so this is going to be fascinating. It's going to be interesting, but it's also going to be very dangerous because apparently they're very vindictive if you don't show them any respect. Well, then that means we need to be on our best behavior. Our base is the infamous Brodick Castle, the epicenter for those local paranormal sightings, where dark shadows... I never feel alone in the castle. ...unexplained whispers... I really do think something's here with us just now. ...and ghosts stuck in a repeating pattern are seen looming around each corner. Are these mythical creatures the cause of the malignant paranormal happenings? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> wow. Um, Pretty upsetting. Yeah, it's a um, bit morbid. Looking at the architecture, everything will be interesting to see what we come in contact with. Evelyn, what do you think of this place? I mean, it's a stunning location, but yeah, it's like the first room we've walked into is like the room of a thousand dead eyes. It's yeah. pretty yeah. ominous, though. <laughs> this location has instantly put me on edge. I'm not sure how I will cope with the next room. Myself and Ryan are off to hunt for paranormal hotspots that may reveal the mystery of this foreboding fortress. Meanwhile, I'm taking Evelyn to meet with head guide Sue Mills, who might be able to explain my physical reaction to crossing the threshold. So, I mean, this is an incredible building. When was it actually built? Um, it was built a long time ago. We're going back to 1260 roundabout. It has a lot of history behind it, so obviously it's going to have a lot of potential for supernatural happenings. Have you yeah. witnessed anything or heard any stories? I have, yeah, there's lots and lots of stories, maybe on every floor, really, in different rooms. Down in the stone corridor, um, there's been several happenings there. One of our guides um, was taking part in an event we used to have every year and she would usually have come right down to the other end of the castle to get changed, but she decided she couldn't be bothered with this. So she'd do it just in the little alcove where this historical front door is. And whilst she was doing this, she said she felt um, somebody standing near her and she was absolutely and utterly gripped with a terrible fear and she actually just gathered up her clothes and... Just got her. Yeah, oh, yeah. Man. I'm just in so much shock. Can we take a wee wander around with you? Certainly. I feel like I'm in The Shining. <laughs> <laughs> I've only really seen um, one thing, and that's when I was training a guide in the exact spot where we were standing before and I saw a shadow go down the red corridor and sort of disappear into the doorway here actually I think yeah but I believe quite a number of people have encountered that. Is it normally in the same place? Um, yes it's usually heading uh, this way into the drawing room and coming into the So it sort of why? repeats itself it's like a loop that um, it's, like, it's like a projection rather than being an active spirit that would move things or do things like poltergeist activity. There's like residual sort of passive energy and it's just like a loop. So one of the reasons that we've come here is of course we've heard the castle is really quite haunted, but Aaron as a whole has got so much mythology, especially linked to things like, you know, the fae. So you've got fairies or goblins or imps, the sort of old folklore and things like that. I mean, is there anything like that to do with this castle in particular? Oh, definitely. Yeah. But as you say, Aaron in general, you know, is, um, you know, a good place for that. Yeah, we're gonna have a workout for us, I think. Yeah, definitely. With confirmation that so many spirits are seemingly trapped in a loop here, 
I fear what rageful ghosts Ryan and I are likely to encounter as we descend into the cavernous basement of this ancient citadel. Oh man, look at this. We got like a kitchen, huh? Well, this is obviously all fake stuff, right? Yeah. Woman right up here. Okay. Uh, presence of a woman right now. Standing right there. Dark brown hair, hair is up. Yeah, well, it'd be good if I walk up to where she was. I saw the woman just standing right here like this, just looking right at us. And then she turned and then just glided right through this door. Wow. You know, it would be good tonight if we try to see if we can come in further contact with this female spirit. Yeah, find out who she is, why she's here, what right. she's doing. Right, because if she's the first person to show herself to us, she may speak to us later. Yeah, that makes sense. Clearly, I have tapped into something, but the question is, are these spirits stuck here due to unfinished business, or has something trapped them here? We've heard the castle surrounding forest has potential fairy links, so it might hold the answers we've been searching for. So this here is the fairy wood. Okay. Um, it'd be really interesting to see what you pick up here on an energetic level as well, because okay. I really do think possibly the land is charged here. Okay. You get you getting drawn to there? We have someone already. Right, okay. There is a presence that is on the opposite side of that tree. Short in stature. Going to. Are you a pixie? What other elementals are in this forest with you? Ah, there. So it says something like suik, silik, silik, silik. Silik, it's, it's Gaelic for, for fairy. The fact they're speaking Irish to me connects, as locals inform me that the Isle of Arran was formerly inhabited by the Irish. See, there's going to be certain words that I am not familiar yes. with. Yes. Which is why your ear is very important. Yeah. I mean, Ryan, I saw was something about this tall, OK? OK. It had ears, had a larger head, smaller, thin body, and it was kind of like this, and then it crouched down behind here. Okay. I've got a feeling, Chris. I don't get lots of feelings. I'm a tech guy, but right, right. I've got a feeling. Right. This is feeling a little bit different from the usual locations we've been doing. Yeah, where should we go from here? Let's head back to the castle. 